So the half man coding algorithm is a greedy method. So suppose you wanted to transmit this message with total of 60 characters. So if we use the ASCII 7 bit representation in that case it will take total of 420 bits. Now if we use the fixed length 3 bit representation. So if we represent P Q R S T U using only the 3 bits. So in that case it will take total of 180 bits for the same message. Now in case of the half man coding algorithm first of all we have to increasingly sort all of the character based on their frequency in the message. Now from these frequencies we have to select two minimum frequency and we have to merge them in one node. So first of all we have merged 4 and 5 so we have the new node 9. Now next we have to follow the same process for all of these nodes. So we have to find the minimum two nodes and we have to merge them together. So we have merged 9 and 6 so new node is 15. Now among these frequencies minimum 2 can be 15 10 or we can take 10 and 15. So we can take either of them so we have taken these two. So if we merge these two together so we have new node with the frequency 25. Now again among these nodes so these two are minimum so we have merged them together so we have new node 35. And lastly we have merged these two nodes so we have 60 right here. So here we have the tree. Now in this tree we have to assign 0 to all of the left edge and we have to assign 1 to all of the right edge of our tree. Now to represent any character we have to start from the root and we have to traverse towards that particular character. So in case of character P we are going to have the code 1 and then 1. So here we have the code 1 1. Similarly for Q we have 1 and 0. So here we have 1 0. So similarly we can represent all of the other characters in our message. So in half man coding most frequent character will be represented using less number of bits. So here P was having the frequency 20. So it is represented using only 2 bits. So P was having the frequency 20 and it is represented using only 2 bits. So it will take total of 40 bits. Similarly Q will take total of 30 bits. So this way if we calculate. So this half man coding algorithm require a total of 144 bits that means 2.4 bits per character which is way lesser than the ASCII 7 bit representation or the fixed length 3 bit representation. So we can say that for the same message half man coding algorithm is way more efficient to store and transmit the message. Thank you.